gosh, my hair is so messy today. Okay, let's let's do this again. Good morning, guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday and I am finally gonna start a book that I've been meaning to start for a while and that you guys have been recommending for a while. The Crow Prince. I don't know what to expect, okay? I've seen good reviews about this book. I have seen bad reviews about this book. So I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty damn excited. Don't know what this book is about either. I have no idea. I don't read the back of the book. Don't know why. I think I should start because sometimes I get very confused in the beginning, but let's see. Actually, let's do that. Jude was seven when her parents were murdered and she and her two sisters were stolen away to live in the treacherous high court of fairies. Okay, fairies. Okay, I love, I, I love it already just because it has fairies. You guys know I love fairies. 10 years later, Yud wants to wants nothing more than to belong there, but many of the fae despise humans, especially Prince Cardan, the youngest and wickedest son of the High King. To win a place at the court, Jude must defy him and face the consequences. Okay. And it seems that they have like serious, like there's a lot of books after this, but I'm actually very excited to read it. Literally just posted a picture this morning and so many of you have been DMing me about the book, about how this is your favorite book. So I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna go make some coffee and we're gonna start today Sunday. Okay, let's see how much I can read today Sunday and how long it will take me to complete my reading. Let's go. I'm trying to get you on my mind less. But then again, I couldn't mind less. Got me like, what's in your coffee? I hope you call me. And we can talk about our hobbies, yeah. Like finding movies to get lost in. And quoting phrases from the office. What's it like to wear that halo? So sweet it's painful. So would you put me on your payroll, girl? I know it's probably not too healthy. You got me over here obsessing, whoa Friends call me stupid, call me crazy, well So long to sanity okay it has been hard to focus today in reading like so hard i don't know why i just feel like i want to do so many things and it's just annoying like so annoying but whatever you know you guys um this is my least favorite thing to do ever the camera is like it's like on the side right it's like in a weird angle okay mm, that's even worse okay stay there this is my least favorite thing to do ever. I need to stop sitting like this because I'm messing up with my hips. Uh, <clears throat> I hate this so much. Like it's my least favorite thing to do ever. In order to make it a little bit more pleasurable, a, l a little bit better, I'm watching YouTube because I love watching YouTube. I love watching Destiny sit well. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. I rather I don't know. When I'm rich, I'm gonna pay someone to do this for me because, like, I don't like it. This is my least favorite thing to do um, when it comes to laundry. I just don't want to. Today's Sunday. Uh, it has been coming. It, it has been becoming. How do you how do you say that word? Like, it has been a tradition for us to go to a bakery or something like that on Sundays to get coffee and pastries. But today we're a little late. We're a little late. I don't know why every single bakery in here closes at like five or four. In Colombia, we have a lot of bakeries that close like at night, like 10 o'clock because everyone drinks coffee all the time, like at any time. And apparently here, mm, that's not a thing. So they close the bakeries like super early, like four or five. And it's already, what time is it actually? It's 3.50. So yeah, 
Mm, I don't think we're gonna make it, to be honest. Wait, I got a comment actually this morning because I posted the Nespresso that I tried, the new one, the raspberry. And a lot of you guys are saying that it's sold out right now and asking if it's actually good. And that one was the one that I tried and I freaking loved it. It's fruity, it's like it tastes a little bit like raspberry. It was perfect. I really, really enjoy the taste of coffee. I don't like when coffee tastes like very strong, like the flavor, you know? If I want coffee, I want to actually taste the coffee. I don't want it to be like s'mores or chocolate. It actually makes me gack, like literally. And my parents do. One time they sent me a bag of like, I'm not gonna say brand because I don't, I don't want to like say something wrong, say something bad about a brand, a small business, but like they sent me a bag of like flavored coffee and it was like chocolate something, like hazelnut something. It tastes a lot like chocolate and stuff and it, it made us ink nauseous, which is not something that you want out of your coffee, you know? It's different when you put like creamer and it tastes like coffee with a little bit of flavor or when you get like Nespresso, it tastes like coffee with a little bit of flavor, like the background flavor. This one tastes a lot like that and we do not enjoy that at all. But the Nespresso, I do recommend Gotta take it. one right around in my body, in my body. Can't say I saw you around when I started, when I started. I'm a hometown hero, that's a far that I came, but I never knew it for what for. Success. Success. You guys, um, I wanted to show you because last night I had it and I actually didn't show you what I've been getting, but this my dad got it from his restaurant well like he works there and they use this to make like milkshakes and stuff to mix it up and it's just the cookies without the cream and i've been having it on my yogurt bowls and so freaking good like do recommend if you can like take some oreos and like smash them and like put them on top of your yogurt bowl i do recommend because um amazing so good gonna have this it's around five o'clock so i'm gonna read I'm gonna read. We are going, I think, to the same bakery because my aunt actually came home and my dad wants to show her the bakery that we went to eight days ago and it's actually really, really cute. So I'm going with them, okay? And we're also gonna do some grocery shopping. Ugh. I am on page 40. Not been making a ton of progress, but I've been actually liking it so far and I'm excited to keep going. That's all for now. Hola. Again, me once encantó, again here por eso, because we love it. Mi segunda vez aquí, me encanta. Oh. This is like a plain croissant. Chocolate one. This one. I think I'm going to get this one. Who's to know what happens when the world ends? At least this is a no It's an awful house and I want it to get you out I'm working on a plan right now To come through I've waited for a lifetime for you To come down Oh, nothing feels the same without you now Breakfast is done. <laughs> that looks so messy. Okay, that's better. The outfit of the day is giving gym, 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 because today's Monday. I wanted to talk about the importance of changing up your routine. And for me, I forget about it sometimes, how better I will feel if I change something up in my routine. And I think it, this is like the best thing ever. I'm telling you guys. I told you that I am trying my best to like slow the fuck down and actually make my nervous system feel better and just like 
feel less stressed about everything in my life and everything and I decided that I really wanted to change up my routine as the season still is changing up as well you know we're coming into spring and summer better days outside stuff like that I want to some days go to the gym and some days I want to spend more time outside I just want to switch it up I don't want to get stuck into routines because that messed up with my mental health all the time because when I get used to one routine and something changes I get overwhelmed and anxious and stuff like that so I want to actually practice within myself to change up routines and know that plans change all the time and like life changes all the time this book has been a really good so far i'm on page 106 i know people say that they don't like because it's like very slow and it doesn't have like a bunch of romance it's more of like politics to be honest i'm not mad about it i've been liking that i like politics i like knowing about everything you guys my favorite is throne of glass throne of glass is not like the most romantic romance fantasy word but i freaking loved it and I love the main character of this one. It reminds me a lot of Feyre from Akatar and her two sisters, the younger, the whatever. She's a twin. We are going to make some coffee. Yesterday I tried the raspberry as I show you and now we're gonna try this one. Uh, and yeah, probably I'm gonna work on my computer for a little bit and also I'm gonna read, start my day with like work and stuff. I need to take off this jacket because it's like, hot inside also i'm working on not doing my makeup like every single day i'm like feeling confident with myself without having to wear like makeup makeup every single day mm. if i have to film then of course but if i'm gonna stay like indoors editing all day then why would i do that just take a little break my skin needs a little break We're going grocery shopping today. I'm gonna read while I eat my snack, and that's it. Try to stray, try it is so good. But the thoughts they so seem to drown instead. I've always wondered what it takes to fill this empty void inside. Hello you guys, it's later on, it's around, wait, it's 12.20, I got ready, I put on a little dress with this, actually always forget to take this off, but it's actually pretty, like, don't come at me, but it's actually pretty, so right now, today's Monday, my mom's birthday is on Wednesday, and I was planning, I've been saving up a lot of pins on Pinterest and seeing so many pretty things that I want to recreate. Like this one. Ooh, it's so cute, don't you think? Okay, I think it's cute. So what we're going to do right now is that we're going to attempt to paint in my watercolor with my watercolor. Am I the best at this? Mm -mm. No, I am not. But I wanted to do something more personal for my mom, you know, for her birthday, like a little more personal card. So I think it's a good idea. I also made a little drinky drink. It's always so refreshing. Let's see how this looks like. like so many hours but 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 we're finally done i think i'm gonna like do some stuff here and there between today and wednesday but this is kind of the idea that i went for and what i wanted 
So here's the little outside. So it says to the very best mom and of course like strawberries. And then on the inside is like, I seriously love you. And there's a bowl of cereal and then I put here so much. I hope you have an excellent birthday and then a little egg. <laughs> And then here, I love you from my head to my toes. And then to tomatoes. It's so cute. Okay, I I think it's cute. I think it's actually very cute. And I was listening to the audiobook of The Cruel Prince. I am chapter 16. Tell me why I'm blushing. But at the same time, I'm kind of scared. Because like, I know who the love interest is supposed to be. And... If you know, you know. If you have been reading the same book or if you have read the book, you will know. Um, anyways, I'm gonna clean up my mess because like... Yeah, yeah, let's clean up all of this. Mm. Hello, you guys. I just finished lunch. I'm about to start editing because I haven't today. But I made myself a bowl of ice cream with graham crackers. I'm very happy about it. I'm very freaking happy about it. Also, something I didn't show you this morning was that I am proud of myself because I was able to. I made some appointments for volunteering next week and also my dental appointment for tomorrow. So I'm super excited. <laughs> Not excited, but like actually happy I got to do that because I forget or procrastinate to do my appointments so I'm very proud of that now addition time probably gonna be here for hours but that's okay because we love it we love it Good morning besties, it's the next day, actually good afternoon. I already got ready, I read for a little bit. I Today's Tuesday, okay, so my daddy's at home, so I've been spending time with him talking about our queen's birthday, which is tomorrow. We're planning everything out. I don't know why people are hating so much on the cruel prince, and I feel like it's because the girls that read it expect instant love or expect, how do you say that, like a smart. Yeah, I do not. I like it a lot. This is young adult. This is kind of low fantasy, low romance, but I love it. I love that little slow burn. I've been loving it, loving it. Last night, I got to part two of the book, which is like this page with super beautiful. I love it, this part. The things that happen before this, that was insane. That was absolutely insane. Like, I been loving this book. <sighs> expect to unexpect it, actually, because, like, I didn't expect anything that happened. I'm on page almost 300, and there's about... Oh, I'm about to be done, actually. Well, like, mm, there is 370 pages. So I have about 70 pages left. But I do made... I did made a little to-do list because I want to do... I want to restart my podcast, so I, I'm thinking of like recording that today or tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. I don't know tomorrow. I don't even know. This is all just confusing. I'm just taking it all day, every day, one day at a time. The next thing that I want to do is a TBR for March, which I ask you guys what books should I read next month. And I'm going to make like a little jar with like all the books in there and I'm going to pick like that. So you guys are actually picking up what I'm reading in March, which I'm very excited about. And I need to edit a video for a brand and I need to send that out. I didn't tell you this, but I'm applying to a little coffee shop because I want to. I feel like that would be nice. So I applied already, but I want to like actually go there and like ask the manager and stuff like, do you guys need any help or stuff like that? I'm always like that. I'm always like very like if I want something, I go for it. You know what I mean? So that's what I want to do. And I need to send some emails because there's some brands that have not paid me yet. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, I also put here, finish my book and plan my mom's birthday for tomorrow. Like what are we doing tomorrow? 
which we're going to the gym actually to the gym that I used to go to because it's super fancy and it has like a pool and a spa and stuff like that and I want to get her into there she loves going there we went there last year and she went in the pool and we did a bunch of stuff like daughter mom kind of thing and I loved it and I want to go to Target oh I also have my freaking dentist appointment which I'm very glad because my teeth hurts so I don't know where to start mm. Hello you guys, I just came back from the dentist. I actually went to Target and I didn't find the second book in the Curl prints, which is very, very sad because I really wanted to start this book today, like the second one. I finished and I gave it a 4.5. I really, really enjoy it. I don't know why people hate on this book so much. I think it's because it doesn't have like any spiciness, any smut, and to be honest, not a lot of romance either. But there's so many plot twists that I was just on the edge of my seat. It, it was incredible. So thank you so much for everyone that recommended this book. I will definitely continue the series, just not right now because I don't have the second book or the third one. Right now I'm starting another one, which is called Butchers and something because Libby, which is the app that you use connected to the library for books for free, just got me a new one. Oh, I will show you. I am still not sure if I'm gonna end up vlogging tomorrow since it's my mom's birthday and I don't know if I want to vlog or not. It depends. But this is the book that we are gonna be reading right now. Butcher and Blackbird, actually. It's kind of insane. This one is very, very spicy. Like, I'm only on page 13 and I already had to screenshot something to my friend to be like, okay, like, what happened with hello? Good morning. It was good, but it was good. No, like, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm kind of tired and sleepy and with the dentist, I hate going to the dentist, but she told me I have, I have beautiful teeth. So I'm kind of happy about that. But also uh, the last doctor that I went to, I feel like th this teeth has been hurting a lot. And he told me that the last doctor that I went to that did the feeling for that teeth did it very badly and that the last couple of doctors and di dentists that I've been going to have been doing way too much, like too many fillings that I did not need, which sucks because right now, what am I supposed to do? But yeah, that's the update. I'm gonna shower, have dinner. I have been feeling a little weirded today, just like down, I guess. Tomorrow will be a new day. Tomorrow will be a new day. It's gonna be okay. I love you guys. <laughs>